Hello there guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to create a Adamski effect in Photoshop and also we'll dive deeper into using our object selection tool for selecting our subject using fill, applying path blur and motion blur. So let's get started. So here in our document I, I prepare here an image where we are going to apply the Adamski effect. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection on the subject. So to do that, going on to the toolbar, go to the fourth tool, right click on it, and then we're going to make use of the object selection tool. From the options on top, make sure this one is tick. And then for the mode, select lasso. And now I'm going to draw a selection around this woman. Okay, so let's see, just to fix the selection, all right, because on this side, we need to fix this area. So I'm going to make use of a polygonal lasso tool, go to the third tool, right click on it, and then I'm going to press out, and then remove this selection on this area. I'm good with this. Once we already have this selection, now I'm going to press Control plus J to have our subjects own layer all right there you have it now let's rename this layer so just double click on it and let's put a name subject and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us well going back now the next step we're gonna do here is we're going to remove our subject to the background so to do that first i'm going to create a new layer of this background layer so select it on that background layer, or you can also right click on it and then create duplicate layer, right? So there you go. Let's bring this one as background copy. Hit OK. All right. Now, to remove our subject, I'm going to press Control, hold it, and then click on the thumbnail of the subject layer. So once I did that, look at that. It created a selection on it. Now, the next step here, we're going to expand the selection. So going on. To the menu bar, go to select, under select, choose modify. So this expand selection is out. Expand by 5 pixels. Hit OK. Making sure that you select on that background copy layer. Now I'm going to edit here on the menu bar. And then choose fill. And this fill dialog box will appear. For the contents, make sure that you are choosing content aware. And mode to normal, opacity to 100. And then Hit OK. All right, so we already removed our subject to the background. So look what happened. There you have it. Now, next up here, I'm going to divide this image into two layers. First, I'm going to hide first the subject layer, right? Then deselect, press Ctrl plus D. There you go. Select it on the background copy layer. I'm going to do toolbar, go to polygonal lasso tool, the third tool, right? And I'm going to create a selection from here. All right, now the next step here with this selection, I'm still selected on that background copy layer. Press Ctrl plus J. So that's how it goes now. Let's also create a layer of the lower part. So I'm going to press Ctrl, hold it, and click on this layer that we just add, added okay, just now. All right, this half part, the top part. Okay, now let's invert the selection by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus I. Okay, so there you go. The selection is already down here all right so same thing let's create its own layer by pressing ctrl plus j there you go let's create a layer of this lower part so make sure that you're selected on the background copy layer and with this selection i'm going to press ctrl plus j there you have it now we already divide this picture into two this one is the first one this, uh, this is the lower part so let's rename this one as bottom the other one let's rename this one as the top part bring back the subject okay so there you go we already divided it to three right now selected on the top part layer i'm going to the menu bar go to filter under filter go to blur gallery and choose path blur all right so the setting of the path blur is already here okay now you can see you can see there's an arrow here now i'm going to drag this lower part, all right the tail of this arrow down here all right and the head of the arrow to here okay 
so it's something like this okay there you go all right so let's go to the right options okay so from the speed okay i'm going to increase just a bit okay to create that kind of blurry effect okay so see that so maybe i'm gonna set the speed into 130 okay looking good all right so from the end point speed i'm going to increase this one so i'm going to set that to 140 yes i'm good with this all right the buildings are no longer visible okay all right from the tapper i'm also going to increase this one just to 20 percent okay all right now look at that we already created this kind of effect on this top part area i'm going to hit okay there you go the blur is already applied okay now next up here is we're going to select the bottom layer all right so select on that now i'm going to the menu bar go to filter this time i'm going to make use of the motion blur so go to blur and then find motion blur okay so from the angle i'm gonna set this one to zero degrees and then for the distance let's set that to 300 yes looking good okay then hit okay what's up here is i'm going to bring this bottom layer on top of the top part so i'm going to click and drag it on top of it now as you can see there's spacing here in the middle so our next tool here is to increase the size of the top part so select that on the top part layer press ctrl plus t for the transformation command and click and drag this one to remove those spacing okay hit enter one last thing here so let's reveal the reflection of this woman okay so to do that go to the bottom layer add layer mask yes so just go here click on this add layer mask icon All right so i'm going to click on that thumbnail the mask i'm going to click on the layer mask thumbnail select it on that go to the menu bar and find the brush tool or press before your shortcut key for the options on top i'm going to set the opacity into amount of 70 percent okay and then for the foreground make sure it's black and then i'm also going down here to bring back the background copy layer all right so now i'm going to reveal this part okay so there you have it now let me show you the before and after so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to make an Adamski effect in Photoshop.